All right, guys, so what we're going to do in this particular example, so this is one option for repair where you can bypass the fuse. All right, so this is if you don't have a fuse, having a hard time getting a fuse. So this is not the ideal. This is not the one we necessarily recommend. We always recommend you guys doing the rework, which is replacing the entire uh, fuse. But in the case you don't have a fuse, this is also an option to jumper. So we're going to be doing that in this particular uh, example. So what we're gonna do is take a little bit off the top. Make sure we get a little bit more continuity. So we'll clean it up a little bit with our toothbrush. Then we're gonna make our bridge right across the top of our filter that we've already checked, that we verify what's bad with the multimeter. So again, guys, you can see this is very small. You, you almost have to use a microscope to do this or you're gonna create a bigger problem. On the screen anymore. Yeah. So as you guys can see, we've completely removed the filter, the bad filter, which we no longer need. And what we're going to do is just bridge these two contact pads. And there you have it. And you just want to clean it up with your toothbrush. So you can verify that you don't have any bridging. And again, guys, this is why the microscope is so important. So you can do these really close checks to verify that you don't have any bridging and that your connection is good to go. All right. So this is option one for your repair. Again, your repair is not a rework necessarily. It's a repair, it has to do with functionality. So this does work, but again, you do run the risk of further damage to your circuit because you don't have now your safety valve, which is your fuse. So if you did have that voltage drop and current surge, there's nothing there to protect your circuit at this point. So it's risky, but it works. See you guys in the next training.